School safety takes the spotlight, a new resource to help prevent child abuse, and a group gets together to improve dual enrollment in this Week in Review. Welcome to the Week in Review at the Nebraska Department of Education. I'm David Jesperson, Public Information Officer for NDE. Thank you so much for watching this brief update. The goal over the next few minutes is to fill you in on some of the news, notes, and events that have happened recently involving NDE. And with school back in session, safety has taken the spotlight. There have already been several news stories about keeping students safe, ranging from traffic safety to online threats and lockdowns. NDE's Director of School Safety, Jolene Palmer, is helping schools and districts by spreading messages about safety and leading training seminars. This week, Palmer talked with NTV News and Kearney about strategies to prevent bullying. Palmer says building relationships with students is the best way to deal with the issue. She also encouraged mentor programs in schools to give students someone to talk to. ND has several resources and information about bullying online. Just search bully at education.ne.gov. After speaking with NTV, Palmer headed out to Ogallala to discuss school safety, technology, and more with teachers, administrators, and staff from ESU 15 and 16. The training session is one of many she hosts around the state every year to make sure districts are prepared to keep their students safe in every situation. There'll be a new tool to help keep students safe in schools this year. State Senators passed LB 281 last year that will allow schools to display both English and Spanish signs with the statewide Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline number. NDE designed the posters and they are available for download online at education.ne.gov safety. Schools can also use the files to post on their school websites, encouraging students to speak up and tell someone if they see abuse or neglect or if they experience it themselves. Adults are already required by law to report any suspected child abuse. Also this week, leaders from across the state, from high schools, colleges, and universities came together to discuss priorities with dual enrollment courses in Nebraska. Dual enrollment classes provide high school students the opportunity to take a class for both high school graduation credit and college credit. This was the second meeting of the joint dual credit group, and members discussed access of dual enrollment classes, the need to increase the amount of qualified instructors, and the challenges with transferring credits from a high school dual enrollment class and the college the student chooses to attend. The group will continue to meet and hope to find ways to provide more and better access to students across the state interested in gaining college credit while in high school. And thank you for tuning into this Week in Review. We'll see you next time with the latest news from NDE.